everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and in this video, I challenge myself to see what I can transform this parachute into. I went shopping at Five and Below, so this was only $5. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you're new to my channel, I make DIY fashion and sewing tutorials every week. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So this is what the parachute looks like on the ground. It's not like those giant ones you used to play with in elementary school, but there's still a lot to work with. I had no idea the direction I wanted to go in. And since it was a circle shape already, naturally I thought to turn it into a circle skirt. After cutting out a circle skirt in the middle, I tried it on and I didn't like the color blocked skirt look. So I changed my plan and seam ripped each individual panel so that I can rearrange the colors. Now I have three of each color separated and can start draping a new design. I want the light pink shade to be on top and I'm using the pointy end of the triangle for the shoulders and then drape a plunging V-shaped neckline that gathers at the waist. Trim the section at the waist and take the piece off to trace and cut out the other half. I gather the waist to fit me and then I set it aside to figure out the rest. With what's left of the light pink material, I piece them together to create a gathered skirt. And I also piece together all the orange pieces to create another gathered skirt. I want the orange skirt to hit mid-thigh for me, so I measure from the bottom up and trim the top away. Now we can sew a basting stitch along the top of each skirt and gather them enough so that it can still slide over your hips. Then close up the open side. Next, I layer the orange skirt underneath the pink skirt and attach the two skirts together at the waist. I want to keep this dress as simple as possible, that means avoiding zippers, so I'll be using elastic. Cut a piece of elastic that stretches to fit snug around your waist and then stretch and sew it to fit the skirt. Next, stretch and sew the bodice pieces to the waist, matching it up at the side seams and center front of the skirt. Then, place the bodice behind the skirt and top stitch them together. This is the last pink piece I have left to use, so I cut it in half to create two back bodice pieces and then attach the bodice together at the shoulder seams. Same as the front, I decided the placement of the back pieces and wanted the side seams to overlap so that it's not exposed there. And then I stretched the skirt and sewed the back bodice down at the waist. I trimmed the pink skirt a little shorter so that the orange layer can be visible underneath and re-hemmed the raw edges. And then I went back and decided to sew some elastic to the back so that it can hug my body and not lift up so much. Finally, the last color I have to work with is a beautiful fuchsia and I will be turning it into a sash that ties at the waist. Just piece together the section so that it's big enough to wrap around your waist and tie into a bow or knot and then hem all the raw edges along the side. 
Lastly, I found this fringe backdrop from Five Below as well and thought it would be fun to embellish the dress at the shoulders and around the bottom of the pink skirt to add some sparkle. I used Elmer's glue because that's all I had at the moment, which sucked because all the pieces started to fall off during the photo shoot, but overall it did the job. And I'm finished. Here is the final transformation. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any other challenges for me to transform. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood. Then he, he knows how to make it all right. Yeah, get that, he got a history.